hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. I'm just looking for the date. <laughs> uh, Wednesday. God, is it really? No. Oh my God, my diary says June. Hang on. One moment. Wednesday the 11th. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Wednesday the 11th of June, 2022. And we're having a couple of things from fun, random and interesting facts to win trivia. Some of them are quite gruesome, so we're not going to do those. I got your back while you're eating your breakfast. Let me know what you're having for breakfast as normal. Oh my gosh. Almost all witch windows, and I never knew there was such a thing, are in, ex in existence are found in Vermont. Give me a shout out if you're from Vermont. And they look like ordinary windows, except that they're opened at a 45 degree angle. Legend has it that when the windows are turned to such an angle, it makes it hard for witches to fly into the home on the broomsticks. I'll bear that in mind. According to the North American Association of State and Provincial Lotteries, Americans spent over $70 billion buying lottery tickets in 2015. Mind you, I don't know if it's the same, it probably is. In the UK, a lot of the money goes to really good funding for things, so that's quite nice, actually. Um, mm -mm -mm. <gasps> Researchers interviewed parents from 384 families with multiple children in a 2005 study, and they discovered that 70% of fathers had a favourite child and 74% of mothers. Taking baths was very uncommon in the Tudor era. People believed that the plague was airborne and they would contract it if their pores opened up. Gosh. When Andrew Jackson was first inaugurated as president, he held a White House reception that was open to the public. About 1,200 people came and got really drunk and trashed the executive building. In fact, the party got so crazy that the president jumped out of the window and spent his first night as president sleeping next door. I never knew that. Okay. Interesting stuff. Right. Contact lens gone weird. That's because I use dry shampoo. Okay, we're going to have one of these. One of these. Oof. Oh. Caroline Mace healing cards. Start with one of those. Ding a ling. Nice round. I love a rounded corner. You don't see that enough, do you? You don't see a rounded corner enough. I know that you can get like a machine that rounds the corners yourself. But you're playing with fire, aren't you really? I am, honestly. Not really my thing, small dexterous hand movements. Ooh. It's weird actually, because I was driving back from somewhere doing this and I ha actually thought this thought for a little while. In silence, we most readily preserve our integrity. Your soul thrives on silence. From deep inside, you receive your most certain guidance and instruction. In silence, you are without distraction. That's why we fear silence. We fear its power. Enjoy quiet meditation today. And like we've said before, quiet meditation doesn't have to mean that you swing in the incense thing or, you know, bonging around with a singing bowl or whatever. Although if you're good at that, that's good too. It can mean, so I'm just trying to shove these back into a gap, as the actress said to the bishop. It can mean that you are, um, you know, vacuuming or driving or any of those things. I think that's quite meditative. Then we're going to have a couple of cards from Urban Crow Oracle, MJ Cullinane. Cullinane? 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 Anyway, she's brilliant. Oh. Mercury's so retrograde, isn't it? Okay. Well, that's one way of shuffling the cards. They're actually all over the floor. 
but none of them so far, I'm not going to tempt fate, have gone in between the floorboards. One moment. Ah, there's a pen. I was looking for a pen. <laughs> You're right, we'll have those two. Right. Got a really creaky chair. Oof, at the moment. I don't know, these cards seem to have a complete life of their own. Right, we've got three. Itchy nose. Ooh. Distraction is what we've just been talking about with Caroline Mace. This is obviously telling us that there's like some quiet time that needs to be had. So of course, the biggest form of distraction I would say for us now is scrolling through the internet, scrolling on our phones, maybe scrolling on Netflix, all of that kind of stuff. I'm just as guilty of that as anybody else is. Um, and sometimes it's really nice, but sometimes when you feel slightly compulsive about it, you're trying to maybe avoid something that the silence wants to tell you, or as the late great Wayne Dyer said, listen to the whispers on the breeze. Speaking of which, he used to say, if you find yourself awake in the middle of the night. I love this. Then listen to the whispers on the breeze because there's something that something has to tell you. Boy, sometimes I'm so eloquent. <laughs> listen to, I'm sure he put it a lot better than that. Listen to the whispers on the breeze. There's something that something has to tell you. I think you get the gist of it, okay? So we have distraction, night. Night forces, for me, are a time, isn't that gorgeous? Are they all kind of asleep in the tree? And maybe one of you can answer this question for me because you're all clever and I know you're gonna know. Where do birds sleep and where do squirrels sleep? It's been bugging me for ages. Where do they go? Because the jackdaws don't, I don't think they sleep there. I think they go somewhere else and the squirrels, I've got no idea. And then we have anticipation, looking forward to something, okay? Now my notion here is that we live in the future too much, that the distraction and the anticipation, what we need to do is settle ourselves, and I hate using this word, into the present, into the now. Because whenever I hear anyone say that, it just makes me feel slightly nauseous for some reason. It's a bit like um, mindfulness, yeah, it's, you know, being present and mindfulness. It, get, it goes tea towely for me, okay? But nevertheless, I'm reiterating it in this reading. There's something about needing some, some downtime, needing to hear something. There's a message on the breeze, okay? If there was a title to this video, that's what it would be. There's a message on the breeze. Now, what do we want? No, we don't want that one. Yeah. No, that didn't feel right when I picked it up. I tell you what does, I wanna do this one. Oracle of the House and Home by Zoe Jane. Let's see what home is in this situation. What's our true north here? What do we need to know? So like an oracle omelette today, isn't it? Oracle omelette reading. Oh, I love those Urban Crow oracle cards. get an abundance of post has arrived and again sometimes our distraction is ordering things off the internet that can be shopping okay I get shut it lock it just walk away I do, do you remember we did um, in the 1200 facts book we had that handbag that closes itself or whatever when you try to spend money you know that one or it just sort of I can't remember what it did so I don't know if it bit you on the hand or something. 
I feel like, again, it's about distraction, it's about shopping, it's about whatever it is that we do. We just shut that down, maybe only for 20 minutes, okay, and have a listen to what is out there. And then the, oh, look, there's a magpie there. And then the card we get is the palace, which we'd never had before. Now, palace is a very subjective thing. Let's see what it says here. That's weird. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Manifestation, creativity, mystery, universal energy. Okay, mastery of craft. House belongs to an interesting character. If you peer through the window, you may catch sight of something magical occurring within. You will never quite know what's really happening inside. There's a reason there's no front gate. I hadn't actually noticed that. Either you own the house or you may only look from far away. I know. It's weird as well because I'm thinking about when you're a child and there's always some mysterious house in the woods, isn't it, that has, and there's a black cat in the window, that has some kind of story attached to it as well. I feel like there's something we need to hear and I feel like as well there's some kind of curiosity that will lead us there to the mystery, okay? You may already have a curiosity for the solution to a mystery, even if that mystery is quite domestic and normal. But if you want the answer to it, and I think you will, or to whatever it is that's coming up, the night forces of doing nothing, saying nothing, feeling nothing, and not wanting to hear anything, but just putting yourself in that space where anything can happen, that's where it's at. That was a weird reading. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. Couldn't even remember what the word resonates was. Happy Mercury retrograde. How's it going for you? Let me know. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.